Hey guys, Nurse Mike here and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. Before we get today's lecture started, please remember to access your free quiz and preview our cool nifty new study guides not here on YouTube. Click the link right up here at any time during this video. All right guys, let's begin. Now as far as the signs and symptoms, PVD is the veins. So use the acronym VEINY like a veiny arm. V for voluptuous pulses, meaning the blood is being pumped. Guys, the arteries are fine. The veins are the problem here. And that's why the legs are warm. So that's a huge test tip right here. Yes, we have pulses. This means oxygen is getting to the extremity. E stands for edema, where blood starts pooling. So guys, think of an oxygen pool party in PVD. I is for irregularly shaped sores. So think of this pool party as an exotic pool that has a weird shape, which is very different than the boring PAD that's just round and smooth. Now N is for no sharp pain, instead we have dull pain. So no sharp pain during exercise because guys, we don't have an oxygen problem. We have oxygen because we have pulses. Unlike PAD, where we have a very sharp pain from the lack of oxygen. And lastly, Y is for yellow and brown ankles. Big test tip right there is the ankles. Now PAD is even worse and everyone knows that. So PAD, think BAD because it's bad. Bad because we have low oxygen in the arteries. So use the acronym ARTS for artery. A is for absence of pulse and absence of hair, so we have shiny, cold legs. And imagine that, never having to shave those legs ever again. <laughs> R is for round, red, smooth sores. Unlike those exotic pools in PVD with those weird shapes, in PAD, we have red sores, also called ruber. So remember R for red. T is for toes and feet that are pale from the low oxygen. Or even in advanced stages, we get black toes called S-char. Big NCLEX tip right there. These black crispy feet are dead tissue. The toes have suffocated to death and usually have to be amputated, AKA cut off. Now S is for sharp pain in the calves when stressed, like during exercise or even elevation, like when sitting in a lazy boy chair recliner at night. This pain is the warning signs of low oxygen. And big test tip right here, guys, write this down. It's called intermittent claudication. This key word right here, intermittent claudication, comes up a lot on exams and the NCLEX, specifically for PAD. So guys, remember, intermittent claudication is intermittent cavication because it causes pain in the cab. And the emphasis is on the A for intermittent claudication, because we remember P-A-D, so claudication for calvacation. <laughs> now, why does this happen? Well, again, guys, exercise like walking up the stairs or even across a parking lot, the muscles are using more oxygen than while at rest. So the lack of oxygen causes this calf muscle pain. And when the legs are elevated, well, it's harder and harder to pump blood uphill, right? So again, low oxygen equals mo pain. And now that you know the main testable differences between PVD and PAD, so what about the six Ps? You guys remember those six Ps the instructor always talks about? Well guys, the six Ps just assess the oxygenation of the limb. Usually always the lower limb, since it's harder for oxygen to get from the heart all the way down to the legs, right? especially with the narrowing of the blood vessels from atherosclerosis, that plaqueville dip, like seen here. The lower the oxygen in the extremity, the worse the six Ps get. It's like your limb is being strangled to death because this is exactly what happens when the body has no oxygen. It dies, also called necrosis. So write this down. The two most important Ps that will be on your test and usually always comes up in prioritization questions. Number one is pain, but guys, not any kind of pain unrelieved pain at rest, big key word right there. When claudication is unrelieved at rest, this means PAD has moved into the most severe stages. And number two is paresthesia, fancy words for tingling and numbness. It's like when your leg falls asleep, but guys, this is way more severe version. It's like the leg is holding its breath for a long, long time or just being choked out. All right guys, a little side note for your future exams. These two Ps are always the priority. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right guys, see you next time.